Today we are diving into a topic that can feel a bit confusing at first, but it is very important when working in Power Query. The difference between zero, blank and null values. Alright, so let's say that we have two columns here. We've got numbers, a zero, a blank cell and something called a null value. Now, if you've worked in Excel before, you may think, eh, they all work the same way, but no, Power Query handles them differently. Let's start by summing up these columns, using a custom column in Power Query. Watch closely. As you can see, Power Query adds up the numbers perfectly fine. It even handles the zero without any problem. That's expected. But here is where the things start to get interesting. When we hit a blank cell, bam, an error. And you might be thinking, well, that would happen in Excel too. You are right. But let me explain why this happens. When we try to add a number to a blank cell, Power Query gets confused because it thinks that blank cell is a text value. Now let's talk about null values. A null value is a bit different. Think of it as an empty void. No value, no data, just nothingness. So when we try to add a number to null, the result is null. It doesn't give an error, but it doesn't give a number either. In Excel, if a cell looks blank but doesn't contain any text, like an empty string, it's treated as zero in calculations. But in Power Query, a null is more like a black hole. It consumes everything and leaves you with, well, nothing. Okay, so how do we fix this? If you want to handle these values in your calculations without causing chaos, a simple solution is to replace nulls with zeros. Let me show you how. First, select your columns with the values. You can use Ctrl or Shift to select multiple columns if needed. Right-click one of the headers and choose Change Type. Select a numeric type. Now all blank cells will turn into nulls, which is what Power Query uses to show there is no data here. Then right-click again and choose Replace Values in the Value to Find box type Null and in the Replace With box type 0. But before you go replacing every null with 0, be careful, sometimes nulls are important. For example, if null represents missing data, like a sales figure that hasn't been recorded yet, replacing it with a zero might mess up your analysis. It could make it look like there were no sales, when in reality you just don't have the data. So remember, zero, blank and null values all behave differently in Power Query, and how you handle them can affect your results. It's all about thinking critically and deciding what makes the most sense for your data. See ya!